Hey AV, welcome back to Arts and Crafts. If this is your first time joining me, I'm Justina, the Arts and Crafts coordinator this year. And today we're gonna be making recycled flower vases. So just a quick sneak peek into what one of them is gonna look like. Here is a crushed soda can that you turn into a flower vase. I'm gonna be showing you a couple of examples on a few different types of bottles. So in order to get started for this video, you could choose any of these. I'm gonna do a few examples. So I'm gonna do one glass bottle, one can, and then just one plastic bottle. All of these are washed and dried. That's just helpful so that when you put water in, it's clean and the flowers can grow. So to start with the soda can, you're going to slowly crack certain parts of it. You don't want to press too hard because then holes are going to be created in the metal. And when you fill it with water, it's going to pour out. This side kind of has like a big blank space, whereas this side is more crinkled. So you're going to want to try to get a little more on that side. So something like this. And then what you're going to do is take a paintbrush and dip it in whatever color paint you're going to be using and just start painting the entire can. Your product is going to look something like this. I personally am using Benjamin Moore wall paint. However, you could use anything acrylic, any type of paint you want. I just like the thickness of this and how it dries and nothing is see-through. A good way to move it is to just stick something in the top and turn it that way. That way your hands aren't getting sticky. And if you don't want it to be as noticeably as soda can, you could just flick this part right off before you paint it. So now that your can is drying, you could take a glass bottle if you have one. It's not necessary. You could do a variety of different colored cans, or you could even do um, a plastic bottle. But what I like about the glass bottle is that because it's transparent, I have a different trick that makes it look pretty cool. So in order to do this trick, what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever color paint you want, and you're going to paint the bottom half of the bottle. So it's going to look something like this. And then what you're going to do is you could either wait for it to dry or place it down and then do the top half the same way. A good way to align it is wherever the bottle indents, that's what you paint up to. So when it's done, it's going to look something like this. I personally didn't paint the top because I think it looks good when it's glass paint, glass paint. Hold it wherever there's not paint. To make sure it's even, you could just do some extra touch-ups. Now once both of those are drying, you could take your plastic bottle and paint that one as well. What's cool about this one is that it's white. It was originally a, a white chocolate peppermint super coffee. Um, if you like this particular shape and I'm just gonna paint this one what's cool about this one is that it's white so if you wanted to just leave it white and add like flowers or some cool type of geometric design that would be really cool I might just go to where the lines are on each side so what I'm gonna do is follow the rim here with gray and also where you drink from and then leave this little section white here and paint a design on it later. I left one white space on one side of it. There's so many different options. You could put a name, you could put flowers, you could put a geometric pattern, you could put your favorite superhero symbol, really anything you'd like. 
Um, and then if you check on the ones that are drying, as you can see, my glass bottle is dripping down paint but I kind of like the added effect so I'm gonna let it go if you don't like that you could just take a napkin and wipe it off while it's still dripping so now I'm gonna let these dry Here's another update on these while they're drying and so this is how your end product will look sometimes for the glass bottle it's cool if you put the water higher so that you could see it through and now i'll be showing you guys some of the crafts that you guys made and sent in from last week's video so feel free to try these crafts at home and then once you're done remember to take either a video or a picture and send them to james at avcamp.org with the subject title A and C underscore and the activity name. We're so, so excited to see what you guys produce and who knows, maybe you'll be featured in next week's video.